Why is it called break dancing? It's not because you're breaking your neck or your back on the floor. I want to teach you something culturally fascinating. <laughs> The name breakdancing comes from its deep connections to hip hop. The correct term is actually breaking, not breakdancing, but it's a video for another time. Our story starts in the Bronx, New York, in the 1970s, an environment filled with discrimination and a lack of opportunities. Violence was often an outlet for pent up frustration in a seemingly hopeless situation. But then, a beautiful cultural movement called Hip Hop was formed from the concept that if life isn't going to give you the resources to follow in someone else's footsteps, then create something even more amazing on your own. There were four elements of Hip Hop, not those elements. They were all rooted in the philosophy of creating something from nothing. Artists who didn't have access to studios, didn't have the money to buy canvases to paint on, and didn't have connections with art galleries who could feature their work, took matters into their own hands. The walls of buildings and the sides of trains became their canvases, where they'd create stunning pieces of art, and they'd leave their signature so that folks within the culture could recognize their work. Where the public saw vandalism, folks within the hip-hop community recognized artists who were defying the systemic disadvantages that they were born into. DJs who didn't have access to music studios to create new songs of their own would take two identical copies of an existing record. On the first record, they'd play the section of the song where the lyrics cut out, leaving only the drums and the instruments. Then they'd play the exact same section on the second record while they rewound the first one, creating an infinite loop. It was over this break in the lyrics that MCs, the poets of hip hop, could create lyrics of their own, telling stories about their life experiences and their hardships. And over that break, break boys and break girls would show off moves that only they were capable of. Signature moves unique to their body type and born from their own original creative process. They didn't have the money or the resources to learn someone else's moves or to follow someone else's choreography, but that ended up being their biggest advantage. Because without being tied down by what came before, each individual dancer, regardless of genetic gifts or financial disadvantages, had the freedom to create something brand new that the world had never seen before. For better or for worse, over the last few decades, hip hop's introduction to mainstream media has changed each of the four elements. I'll cover that topic as well as why the correct cultural term is breaking and not break dancing in a future video. I want to give a quick shout out to the anonymous hip hop OGs who helped me script this video and future videos. I don't know everything, but I want to make sure my facts are right. So I really appreciate the time and trust that they showed while making this video. I make cultural videos like this and react to legendary breaking battles to share my love for an art form that changed my life. If that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing and drop a like if you learned something new. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh God. Oh.